Now let's try to get step two, actually jump off the platform rather than fall. Okay, now let's get step three, find the stupid hidden block. Jump for crying out loud. Obey my commands. I must say, I'm not completely satisfied with the controls in this game. I think they're not... They don't work as well as they should. And I have to make sure I'm not going crazy here. Because I think what I'm reading says that there should be one right there. You know what? Forget it. Screw you. Now, can I even get up? Where's the next stupid one? More battles, of course. Why not? And I will undoubtedly run right into the next one. I hope that if I said it, it, it wouldn't happen. I have to run into every single fight. I mean, at least before I was getting some experience points. Well, I suppose I'm still getting some experience points now. But not like I was before. Jump! When I press the B button, you jump! Wait a minute, how is that platform supposed to get me up there? Okay, maybe... I'm supposed to get onto that platform from the cannon, maybe? guide is not very helpful in many places. Okay, at least there aren't more dogs. Okay, using the cannon. No, it doesn't work. You can't get there like that. I know we're close to being able to make that jump. Not unless there's another hidden platform.
probably goes without saying, but I apologize for the massive, massive amount of derp in this session. If I could get a visual, like, description of where these things are, rather than just a bunch of words with less than, you know, great grammar, then maybe I'd have a better shot at understanding where the hell these things are. Okay, that's the platform they were talking about. But the description didn't tell me that. Caro Caro Cola, which is definitely more valuable than a max mushroom. And even more valuable than a mush and or mushroom is even less valuable, but I didn't see that in my inventory until I had already decided on the max mushroom. Okay. Moving on. Oy vey. I was looking to see if I missed any details for the previous one that I gave up on, and of course another battle came to me. Okay, now I should try to get the time hits, I guess. I must say, when I go on to game FAQs, I really appreciate it when I see a guide that has, like, that looks like it's proofread and by someone who actually is good at writing. That is very nice to see, because so many of them just have... I mean, if you have one or two spelling or grammar mistakes, that's one thing, but... If there are so many that is practically incomprehensible, then that's bad. all out at once, fine with me. Or not. Okay, another example here of the inaccuracy. It says there are two stationary purple flowers. There are actually three stationary purple flowers. It says jump between them, so how am I supposed to know which two he's talking about? I think I won. Because it was a fake flower. Wait a minute, something... I can tell it's there, because something stopped my movement last time. Okay, under the sky bridge. There's a cave that leads back to the Karo sewers. I think that's this cave. Didn't, couldn't I go in here before? Okay, this is the sky bridge, right? I think it is. Okay, there we go. Corner on the back. 
course, run into every battle first. Avoid the chow. So I'm looking for a chow. Okay, there it is. Okay, the next couple are in Belum's Temple. It's going to be... You know what, I might as well just go there from Monster Town. It'll be easier than going there from here. Two slow pokes. Okay, I propose an alternative solution. That's bad. I could have just walked around that one. Why can't I run away from monsters that are many levels below me? You know what? They're pissing me off, so I'm just going to get rid of them anyway. Funny that you can run away as a scarecrow. I think that would be the first thing you couldn't do. Or, you know what I mean. I hate you all. Stop bothering me. Why can't I just walk past you? If I could, then you would keep on living. Stop missing. Well, at least the piranha plants are slow. Yeah, I I'm going to have to start the final area just to make this session, you know, remotely interesting. I wish there were a way just to get back to the world map quickly from anywhere. Seems like that would be a nice thing to do. And again, this game was made before the concept of anti-frustration features was really... was really popular. I mean, this, th this is something that often just causes me to rant. It's like, okay, there are these, there are some pretty simple things that if you're a video game designer, you should know. Like that gamers generally don't like being forced to do the same thing over and over and over again. So you should be allowed, for example, to save more often or, you know, not, or that there should be, you know, frequent kind of teleport things if the world map is big. Stuff like that. Okay, only nine left. Two of them are in Belum's temple.
I was gonna say I hope none of them is in that room behind the statue, and then I remembered. Oh wait a minute, you only have to remove the statue once and then it stays gone. Okay, there's something here. What do you want to bet it's on top of one of these boxes? It's already I already got one on top of that box. Okay, where's the other one? Okay. Floors made with tiles. Wait, send the stairs so you're on the first row of tiles. That row to the corner. Again, not very precise language. First, okay, there it is. Okay, you know what? I think that's enough hidden boxes for one session. I'm kind of losing my patience here. That's right, I have to get my fortune. You know, this isn't the room I want, is it? No, it's not. Game. Why can't you let me go through these rooms quickly? Wrong answer. Give me the other one. Thank you. Okay. Eight hidden boxes left. I think I had something like 24 or 20 something left at the beginning of the session, so I found a lot.